There's someone I want you to meet. She's an institute scientist named Carter Beckett. Absolutely lovely. Do you have an authorization code? Authorization code beta 77 Tempest. That's an older code. I've been able to gather most of the parts of the gun already, but there are a couple components I'm missing. Okay, let's get to work. bunch of parts together and hope for the best. Uh, hi. You're pretty good. Research like yours is what destroyed the world. Oh, boy. Just get out of here. You up for helping me out with another project? Available. What did you have in mind? We need to deal with the threat posed by the railroad and the Minutemen. Sounds good. Where do I sign up? Let me explain. The plans these groups have made to blow up the Institute and leave a giant radioactive crater in the middle of Cambridge. That's gonna displace a whole lot of innocent people, and neither group has really thought this through. For example, the Institute has technology that can help the synths the railroad is trying to protect. If you blow the place up, they can't create any new synths either. Tell me about the Minutemen. As for the Minutemen, the Institute is a treasure trove beyond their wildest dreams. Full of manufacturing equipment and agricultural technology that could revitalize the Commonwealth. It would be foolish for them to destroy all of that. Where are you going with this? Look, the Institute may not be Mother Teresa, but incinerating their facility doesn't serve anyone's best interests. There's a saying, it's easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson is to learn to love your enemy. I hope this isn't another Brotherhood Morals lecture. Don't worry, it's not. All I'm saying is that we need to remove the incentives for the Minutemen and Railroad to attack the Institute. And to do that, let's just say a few assholes from the Institute might have to disappear. I like it. I thought you would. There's someone I want you to meet. She's an Institute scientist named Carter Beckett. She's going to be visiting a nightclub called Club Snuggle. Yeah. I remember that place. Weird, right? So, as it turns out, no one in the Cambridge area wants their homes or businesses reduced to ashes. Club Snuggle is located on the river across from the CIT building. If the Institute blows up, they're directly in the path of the explosion. To prevent a blast like that from putting them out of business, the club's management is willing to play ball with the Institute. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, I guess. Anyway. Head over to Club Snuggle when you have a moment, and talk to Dr. Beckett. When she asks you for an authorization code, tell her Beta 77 Tempest. And try to keep an open mind. Hi. Hey. On second thought, forget it. Fair enough. Suffer. Hey. What's the plan? I need to ask you something. What's new? Just curious what you're thinking. I had my share of flaws as Elder, but at least I made sure our vertebrate pilots were properly trained. Have you seen the idiots they let fly those things nowadays? That was all. Back to it then. Get him here. Just don't forget there's plenty of work to be done out there. Catch you later then. Seating his plan, Paladin. Well done. Gotta find some more gin. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? Excuse me. I don't recognize you. Something I can do for you? Hello there. 
Hello there. Do you have an authorization code? Authorization code beta 77 Tempest. That's an older code, but I suppose it'll do. Allow me to explain our situation. At the Institute, we take considerable pride in our research. Decades of successful trials and experiments, striving to improve mankind's standard of living, and to do so in an ethical manner. For the most part, that is. Your Institute has done some horrible things. Yes, I was getting to that part. Unfortunately, our reputation has been undermined by upper managements, often misguided, and nefarious directives. Directives about which the rank and file scientists are not consulted, nor permitted to express misgivings. What do you mean? I could use specific details about these guys. We're not allowed to ask broader questions. For example, what is the practical application of synthetic gorillas? Or, if our motto is mankind redefined, why did we cancel the cybernetics program? Scientists who openly raise these types of issues tend to disappear soon after. Another sob story. The Institute's goals are either needlessly complicated or never elaborated upon. No one in upper management ever explains what the Institute's core ideology is, if there even is one. As for the people of the Commonwealth, many of them think that we're monsters. Perhaps rightly so. And the most frustrating part is that if we simply shared our research openly, most people would be completely fine with the Institute, instead of plotting to blow us up. What's your plan, exactly? The situation within the Institute has deteriorated recently. Sins have been escaping at higher rates, and the ranks of disgruntled and even runaway scientists have been growing as well. The important thing is that we have a plan to fix things, to make the Institute an organization we can be proud of. We just need help with the execution. So, give me the details. Advanced Systems has been developing a special weapon for the SRB, a teleportation gun. You aim the gun at a subject, fire, and it teleports them to the coordinates you've programmed. The SRB commissioned the teleportation gun as a means to recover the lost synths. But we have other plans. We've managed to smuggle the weapon schematics out of the Institute, and we intend to build a prototype. So, where do I come in? The first step is to gather the necessary parts. After which, we'll build the gun, smuggle it back into the Institute, and use it to covertly teleport certain members of upper management to a secret prison we've built in the Glowing Sea. Why not just kill them and be done with it? We can't kill anyone outright because the biomonitors upper management wears will set off the silent alarms. So, this needs to happen quickly, quietly, and with zero loss of life. Once the contemptible elements have been removed, the rest of us can move on with our lives and get back to doing real science again. Okay. Let's get to work. I've been able to gather most of the parts of the gun already, but there are a couple components I'm missing. No problem. I'll run down to the Super Duper Mart and pick some up. In the event they're out of stock, I'll mark some alternate locations on your Pip-Boy. Once you've recovered the parts, let me know, and we'll discuss the next steps. Can we hang out here for a while? Excuse me. What can I do you for? Can I ask you something? Any news? Your thoughts? When you're out scavenging, be careful when picking up metal buckets. A lot of them apparently get used as chamber pots. Don't ask me how I know that. I'm good for now, thanks. Back to it then. Oh, okay. Guess who's getting drunk tonight? Whoa, I must be really high right now. I didn't know that.
I used to be an adventurer like you. glued a bunch of parts together and hoped for the best. Good enough? Fair enough. I'll need a little time to finish assembling the gun. In the meantime, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Dr. Zimmer, and he oversees the Institute's Synth Retention Bureau. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing. Hello, Institute, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello. Perhaps I should elaborate. And what I'm about to tell you is confidential, understood? Of course. Go ahead. Dr. Zimmer has an interesting history. While he may be the director of the Synth Retention Bureau, it's just a title at this point. As he's grown older, he's become a bit... I suppose, eccentric is the word. Zimmer spends most of his time these days on field missions outside the Institute. Pretending to hunt synths. Something you should know about escaped synths is that many of them end up as entertainers. And, well, you get the picture. The reality is that Zimmer has switched sides, and he's willing to help us undermine the SRB. I don't need his help. Ah, but you do. If something goes wrong with the plan, a quick exit will be necessary. That's harder to pull off if you're surrounded by coursers. We'll need to disable the security guards patrolling the Institute, and only Zimmer has the means to do that. Talk to him for details, and you'll see what I mean. Beckett has instructed me to give you this holotape. You'll need to insert the holotape into Dr. Ayo's terminal at the Institute. Once you do so, access the holotape and initiate the security shutdown. There's only a short window before the SRB brings the coursers back online. 
So you'll need to move quickly. Any questions? No? Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. Yeah, busy here. Yeah. Can we hang out here for a while? Nobody's asked for my ID yet. Not quite sure how to take that. Yes. Hi. Good news. I finished work on the teleportation gun. Are you ready to proceed? I'm proud to help the Institute. Here's hoping it all pays off. I hope so too. Now here's the plan. After you use Zimmer's holotape to shut down security, you'll have a 20 minute window to take out the Institute's management. I'll add the list of targets to your pit boy. It's up to you whether you wish to take out anyone else besides the names in the list. However, under no circumstances are you to use a teleportation gun on Ali Fillmore. She's the one who orchestrated this whole plan, and we need her safe and sound at the Institute to see it through. In fact, once you've secured the targets, let Ali know so she can take the next steps. Do you have any questions before we begin? Fighting the Institute with crappy weapons is a horrible idea. This strategy isn't without risk, but it's not like I'm asking you to fight someone with a squirt gun. If you follow the plan and use teleportation gun, you shouldn't have to fight anyone at all. I need to know who you want dead before I agree. The list of targets will show up on your pit boy. And remember, we're not killing anyone. Only use teleportation gun. No conventional weapons. I'm ready to get to work. Good luck down there. I'll wait here for your return. Hey. Hey, hun. Is there something you need? If you aren't ready, maybe we should do this later. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other... Hi. Something I can do for you? I need to ask you something. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. Why does the Institute replace people? Sometimes we innovate for no other reason than to learn what's possible. <laughs> you seem awfully proud of this lab. Humanity's future is taking root right here. What's life like for a synth in the Institute? I... I try not to think too much about it. That's a question best left to our colleagues in the Robotics Division. How many people did you infect with FEV for your research, hmm? That was a costly mistake. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. But with hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. Things didn't go well with that super mutant problem. Research like yours is what destroyed the world. Don't you want this to stop? Not at the moment. The surface is still too dangerous for life to truly thrive. That's why what we do here is so important. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. That Warwick situation was a real mess. But the prospects are very exciting. You murdered those people, didn't you? I don't think anyone really intended that as a course of action. But I don't think we should stop there. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. To bring you up to speed, Obviously, there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. 
Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. The conflict is already upon us. Unless we end it now, it's only going to get worse. Give me a reason not to kill you. Uh, here, take these. That's all I have for now. It's payback time. Oh, boy. Stop right there! Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very interesting, but now simply isn't a good time. I need your help to attack the Institute. If that was an attempt at humor, I'm afraid it's lost on me. I'm much too preoccupied with my equations. Now, I'm afraid I must end this little chat, although it's been so very diverting. I didn't mean any trouble. I'm simply trying to tell you in as polite a manner as possible that I am busy. Now, goodbye. But we were having so much fun together. Yeah, how unsurprising. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. That's pretty damned insensitive. Why would you say something like that? I need information, and you're gonna give it to me. Bit of a blunt instrument, aren't you? Kellogg was much the same. Very well then, down to brass tacks. Some time ago, we covertly replaced the family patriarch at Warwick Homestead with a synth. He's been field testing a variety of genetically modified seeds that I created. A melon plant that will, if my calculations are correct, be able to grow even in heavily irradiated soil. The fruit it bears will be perfectly healthy and edible. Now listen closely, because this next part is vitally important. All the enemies you've created. You can't imagine why I'd be standing here. I... I meant no offense, just... um... Well, let's move on. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. I can't let you live after you murdered that man. Uh, what? Now just a moment, there's no need to get angry. It's not enough just to do a job. It must be done well. Being a member of the Institute means holding yourself to a higher standard. Now, if you're quite finished, I'd very much like to get back to these mental equations. That will be all, thank you very much, goodbye. Your presence here is a great gift, not Dr. just a Dr. thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that. We're all looking forward to working with you. Excuse me. Uh, catch me after the meeting, okay? Whether it's synths or humans, I'm against slavery. What now? I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you, but try to remember that synths aren't people. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. How much are you willing to pay to keep breathing? I see. I suppose I can offer you something. Here, we can spare a few of these from the armory. I hope that's payment enough for you. Well, hello. Hi, Mom. I've been waiting for you. You... you've been waiting for me? Yeah. They said I had to wait. So I waited. You're... you're not gonna leave me. Right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Perfect! Thanks! Don't make excuses. You're clearly the victim, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something hey. that's actually useful. You had me fooled. I really believed you were on our side. All our work laid to waste. 
Calm down, I'm just here to talk. This is not a matter for debate. The only hope for humanity lies below. I didn't want it to end like this, Sean. I'm not a monster. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. Sean, isn't there some other option? Some other way we could work things out? I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hope you shared our vision for the future. Can't we move past this? You're either with us or you're not. I'm afraid it's that simple. Why do you hate the Commonwealth and its people so much? These people are driven to destroy everything we've created. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. I'm afraid things here are different from the lawless wastes above. A society cannot be maintained without order. You know that if the tables were turned, they would not hesitate to wipe us out. They must be eradicated. I wish you'd come with me now. Willingly participate in destroying my life's work? I think not. I've heard enough of There's your- nothing more to say. I won't help you destroy the Institute. Just... Get out of here. There's no going back, Sean. The Institute has to be stopped. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I'm sorry it's come to this, Sean. I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hope you shared our vision for the future. Leave me alone. A regrettable turn of events. But I hope someday you realize what will be lost here. You're going to have to live with that. What's in it for me? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me, on a settlement. I won't ask for details. I'm sure I don't want to know. These Minutemen, claiming to want to save the Commonwealth from itself, they cannot even protect themselves. Their cause is a doomed one. Can't we move past this? You're either with us or you're not. I've heard enough of your bull- I won't help you destroy the Institute. Just get out of here. Over there! Present. would not exist were it not for him. Even though I'm a synth, Alan and Liam have made me feel like a part of their family. Hey, they weren't kidding. You really are here. So, where do you stand? Everything's taken care of. You're safe. Huh. Well, you've certainly riled things up. I think the last thing the Institute needs now is to make things worse. We should be trying to avoid conflict, not starting it. Of course. 
It was never the intention to cause more harm than is necessary. In the future, never doubt me. I won't lie. I was a little nervous you wouldn't pull it off. Seems I needn't have worried. Any news on your side? All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. I'll see that the necessary steps are taken. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. I'll let you know when the review is complete. It feels like the dawn of a new era for the Institute. Now, what can I do for you? That depends. How do you plan to reward me, exactly? I'm certainly happy to do whatever I can to help going forward. I'm not sure what you mean. Got anything particular in mind? Can we maybe talk later? Sounds good. I'll see you soon, then. I'm sure you will. Thanks again. I think more clear. <clears throat> Need something? You seem to be a little light on cash. Wow, I got Excuse so me. high. Wonderful. You made it back. Did everything go according to plan? I'm just glad it's over. Thank you. We won't forget what you've done for us. And you're welcome to keep the teleportation gun. Just be selective how you use it. I'm going to head back to the Institute and coordinate the next steps with Ali. I hope you'll come visit us soon. By the way, talk to the gentleman behind the counter on your way out. He had some intriguing ideas for the future of the Institute that might be worth exploring. This is news available. I wouldn't mind if we linger here a bit longer. Oh, look at that. Mission failed. Hi. Hey, you got a minute? Depends on what it is. So while you were out, I was talking with your buddies Carter and Zimmer about making some changes to the Institute. What did you have in mind? I hear you just spent a ton of time and resources banishing the evildoers from the Institute. But what's to prevent leaders just as bad, or even worse, from eventually replacing them? I'm not worried about it. I don't think they pose a threat any longer. The same could be said about the original CIT residents 200 years ago. And look how that turned out. Reclusive societies tend not to make the most rational foreign policy decisions. If you want long-term peace with the Institute, you're going to need some degree of trade and travel with them. Yeah, I suppose so. There's an old saying, if goods don't cross borders, soldiers will. In other words, it's tougher to want to go to war with a person you see and trade with every day than with a bunch of random dudes you've never met and have only heard rumors about. Why is that so important? Because trade helps humanize the folks you trade with. It forges connections between people and promotes an exchange of cultures. And the mutual benefit from trading tends to help everyone focus on what they have in common rather than continually dwelling on their differences. Get to the point. What... what do you need? I'm just saying, if you want the Institute to align its interests with the Commonwealth, you need to open the place up for business. Make it a tourist destination and let people from the Commonwealth come and go as they please to trade and spend money. If it'll help a cent, count me in. All right, that's what I like to hear. Check back with me in a bit and I'll give you an update. Hey there. So, how's the Institute? Did you curtail all the redundancies in upper management? Yeah, I took care of them. That's good to hear. The Commonwealth will rest easier knowing its boogeyman has been put to rest. Pleasure was all mine. There is one more thing, though. Actually, two things. You say it that way, and suddenly I'm nervous. With the new paradigm in place at the Institute, we need to ensure that the Railroad and the Minutemen don't keep plotting to attack it. Yeah, there is that little problem to deal with. I heard the Railroad had a plan B, some sort of synth uprising at the Institute. Apparently, no one told Desdemona that the Institute has speakers, and the synths can be deactivated using a safe word. Any revolt she's planning would be put down in under a minute. I can't believe anyone would miss such an obvious strategic error. But, this is the Railroad we're talking about. 
Anyway, head over there and talk to Desdemona. Convince her to stand down, and if she won't, you might have to get creative. Next stop, the railroad. Choo-choo! Great. Let me know how it goes. And hey, there's one more thing. Whatever happens, I just wanted to say thanks for all you've done. It's not easy making friends in this line of work. Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Owen and the Brotherhood. Having someone I can count on and confide in, who can take direction, but also not be intimidated by the whole Brotherhood thing. I've always needed someone like you in my life. I just never expected we'd meet quite the way we did. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. What I'm trying to say is, good friends are hard to find. And your friendship, it means a lot to me. Thanks for sharing that with me. I have real feelings for you. Have you ever thought about us becoming more than just friends? Let's take things one step at a time. I'm not gonna pretend the thought hasn't crossed my mind. Things are going right for me for the first time in a long time, and I have you to thank for that. But your timing isn't ideal. We need to focus on the mission right now. When I'm ready to go further in our relationship, if I'm ready, then trust me, you'll know. I understand. You, you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit? I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that last part. Desdemona. Any news from the Institute? I met with the leader of the Institute, and it turns out... It's me! Mario! You do know their plans for synth, right? Genocide. Give me a straight answer first. Are you still on our side? Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Rest easy. Know that the future is in safe hands. I can't lie. This isn't the outcome I wanted. I'm trusting you. Don't make me regret it. So, what happens to the railroad? With the Institute dealt with, we're reevaluating our ongoing operations. We're all safe now. I've had enough of fighting. Let's have some peace for a change. Amen to that. What's next for you? If you need me for anything, just let me know. Just keep a cool head, okay? Point taken. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. Our safe houses are bursting with sins. If you're up for it, we could use your help in smuggling them out of the Commonwealth. Anything else you want to talk about? Dozens of years, countless sacrifices. It all paid off, thanks to you. You're a damned hero in my book. Hi. Any problems dealing with the railroad? Hey, I'm just here for the rewards and glory. All right, here's a little something for your trouble. So, the next step is to have a similar chat with that Preston Garvey character, and make sure that the Minutemen don't try anything excessively foolish. It won't be a problem. Great. Good luck out there, General. With the Institute dealt with, we're reevaluating our ongoing operations. Watch yourself outside. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. You've got. Yeah. I can. You'll never. Dis mm -hmm. But I've seen people. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are many men out there. I can't help. Right now. That's your call. I hope you change your mind. Hey. We'd better discuss what to do about the Institute. That's not happening. Come on. Don't blow me off. I've still got your back, but you need to hear this. 
I met with the leader of the Institute, and it turns out... It's me! Mario! You sure that was the right choice? Siding with the Institute? I made a choice. I let the sense go free. Nice to see the Institute doing something to help the Commonwealth for once. You're not in charge here, Preston. I am. I decide how we're gonna handle things. Okay, okay. Don't get yourself all riled up. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Rest easy. Know that the future is in safe hands. You must not have heard yet. The Institute has been scouting the castle. Looks like they're getting ready for a major attack. I'm not worried about it. I don't think they pose a threat any longer. I hope you're right. But I suspect the Institute has more resources than you realize. The Institute isn't our enemy, remember. You can trust us now. So, that's it. It's finally over. I never thought I'd see the day we didn't have the threat of the Institute hanging over our heads. I hope you prepare for what comes next. Good to know. Don't see that every day. I could spend all day modding weapons. This is different. What you got it. This is a nice change of pace. Hey. What's the news? So about those institute renovations we discussed. Carter and I got started on them. Just minor tweaks at first. And then, you know how it goes. One thing led to another. We sort of just got into a zone. Head over to the teleport pad at the end of the dance floor and see for yourself. You're gonna like the way it looks. I guarantee it. Commonwealth's got the capital waste in the You seem to be a little light on cash there. I have some information that might prove beneficial to both of us. Liberty Prime override codes? Is this what I think it is? It's okay, Mom. She's a friend. You can tell her. I don't think so. Hey, Arthur. It's been a while. Look at you now, all grown up, and the Elder of the Brotherhood of Steel. Don't be so naive. I'm issuing a formal challenge against your authority as Elder. If you think you can take me, then we'll settle this matter as it was written in the litany. In combat. Let's do it. Right here, right now. That won't be necessary. Oh, come on, really? You made me sit through all that for nothing? 